Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Uh, beautiful sunset here in one of the parks in Orangeville. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Psalm 106, verse 39. It says, They defile themselves by their evil deeds, and their love for idols was adultery in the Lord's sight. Here's my poem. What defiles us in God's sight? Whenever we think of evil thoughts, we delay and hamper our spiritual growth. Each time we do things to please ourselves, we end up displeasing Him and we need help. Prioritizing other things over the Lord defiles us. It opens a door for the enemy to tempt us fast. God considers loving others' idols as an, idol, as an adultery. It disgusts him when we treat him unfaithfully. Here's my poem, uh, essay. If you were a parent, you probably made rules for your children in order to protect them and ensure that they are not being influenced by others who are totally, who totally be, believe differently from you. This is why parents consider carefully the schools that they enroll their kids in and filter the kind of friends their children go with. Because we love them and want them to grow up in a safe and healthy environment, we set boundaries for them to follow so that they can stay unharmed and grow up fully. God is the same with us. That is why we have scriptures uh, so we can follow his commands and be safe to live in this corrupted world. He warns us not to be defiled by evil deeds and to avoid idolatry. These things defile us in the Lord's sight. Prayer. Lord, let me never desecrate what is holy and what you have created. Reflection. What have you done in the past that defiled you in God's sight? Whew. I will not be finished for a whole day to tell all the things that I've done that defiled God. But um, as it um, says in this uh, verse, idolatry was a big thing for me back way back in the Philippines. Um, our culture... Um, generates idolatry um, and people don't don't even realize it I didn't know it until my eyes were opened by God um, idolatry doesn't necessarily mean um, having another God which I also did because I went to different kinds of religion as I was searching for the Lord but uh, the sneaky form of idolatry is um, loving yourself too much and um, being concerned so much about pleasing yourself and that is the thing that I did for so many years of my life because um, I didn't know any better that was what I grew up with um, that uh, that the goals and ambitions are, are, are and achievements are, are very important and um, and I did that, and so I focused so much on my career, I focused so much on my son, um, and I set aside God in, uh, in the back, and uh, later on, uh, when my life started getting in shambles, that's when I realized that uh, I was doing things wrong. So, there are many other sins that I defiled myself with, um, such as um, uh, sexual sins. Um, I know uh, a lot of people will have a hard time admitting that they do, but uh, I had sexual sins in my family, running from my family, and so I got it as well. And I think I used sexual sins because I was so deprived of love. 
And so a lot of uh, people who are addicted to sex are usually seeking love rather than sex. And um, I did that for a while too because I wanted to alleviate myself of the pain of being alone, of the pain of not being wanted, of the pain of being rejected. So, if you are able to identify what defiles the Lord, I'm sure that you will not want to do it anymore if you are a committed believer of Christ. And as much as I can right now, if uh, I try as much to live within what the, within the will of God and within His commands and His truth, because if I don't, um, it makes me dirty, it, may, it defiles me, it uh, makes me e an easy prey for the enemy to work on. Um, there's still so many things that, I, that God is working on me, like um, I need to get more control over for spending um, because sometimes here in Canada uh, it didn't used to be this way because like back in the Philippines um, there was a there was like 10 years of my life that I gave up credit cards and everything so I was able to manage my money properly uh, for 10 years before I left because I just gave up on all the credit cards. It's it's uh, one of the ways that the enemy deceives us that this plastic cards are our money you know they are not they are they are a bondage they are something that makes us think that we have money even if we don't and so when i came back to canada um it was inevitable for me to use these things again because there's some um when when you're um, working on your um immigration stuff and all the paperwork for your um citizenship they need you to have that and then there's a tendency to use it for other reasons and so that's one of the things that is defiling me right now because um, I don't really need to spend anything if I'm not really earning and I'm trying to live within what um, um, w within uh, the little uh, money that uh, my husband's giving me for managing the food because he takes care of everything else so those are the things um, that uh, defiles me and have defiled me in the past. But then God saved me. So I know that even if he's working on me right now, and I know and I believe that he will help me. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you have an open heart to realize what defiles you in the eyes of God. Have a blessed day.